Okay, Marina, this is the bicycle. It's got two separate things on it. This is the walkie dog at the top here. It fastens right there underneath the seat. Uh, the problem with this one, um, oh, and you can take this and you can unfasten it like that. So you can take it off the bike. You can put it back on. Um, the problem with this one is you, it's impossible to get this tight enough. So what's going to happen is if the dog really does exert a lot of pull, this thing either rotates that way or it rotates this way. So the dog fastens on the end. As you can see, it's pretty tall, so it's only suited for a bigger dog, I think, like a German Shepherd. or I know you've got a new Shepherd, so maybe it would work for that. What I made was I took a piece of conduit steel and I bent it with a pipe bender and drilled it out. And so it goes on the back of my bicycle, kind of like a bumper. It goes around and fastens there. And then what I do is I take a leash and fasten it around this end. Uh, you can do it with a carabiner. And then I have a leash segment. And I ran that leash segment through a piece of PVC. And then I have a snap on the end. So you've got a dog that can rotate all the way around here but can't come forward. Uh, and to me, this I can use this for a little dog, a big dog. And the center of gravity is, is way better. So the lower it is, the less likely you are to get pulled over. So since the center, the center of gravity is down here, this is really strong. A strong dog can pull this and, and pull you over a little bit better. So, But again, this is the walkie dog. And this is what I made out of a $2 piece of conduit and a pipe bender. So it takes a little bit of skill to do that. It's not perfect, but... Hopefully that'll help you.